out, let the streets talk, no promo. A real man shouldn't have to say no homo. One of my favorite things about hip hop is our everlasting love of language. One of my least favorite things about hip hop is our everlasting fear of being gay. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that one of our favorite slang terms combines our tremendous passion for wordplay with our tremendous insecurity about sexuality. Mm. The no homo phenomenon is an old thing, a sad old thing, but it's still a new thing to a lot of old people. So as a public service, I will now present a brief history of no homo. The phrase no homo, which traces back to an earlier slang word, pause, is a defense mechanism utilized by young men who are not only afraid of being gay or looking gay, they're actually afraid that the words they speak might sound linguistically gay. It's basically when someone says something that could be even vaguely construed as homoerotic or homosexual, someone will put a no homo either before or after the phrase. No Homo was first popularized by New York's Dipset crew, led by the rapper Cameron, who was known for being clever with words and also for wearing a lot of pink, and wanted to be absolutely certain that nobody inferred anything from that. Are you gay? Not at all, okay. far from it. So like, why do people feel like they need to keep reinforcing that over and over? But this isn't even about being gay, this is about saying something this is gay. About le this is about letting someone know that you're not gay. Who cares, right? No, this is about saying gay things by accident no homo this isn't about a person's really being gay yeah. we know that they're not really gay hip-hop is definitely homophobic there's no doubt about that but so is society homophobic the difference is that hip-hop has a, a megaphone and it puts it up to the rest of the world you know like the no homo thing is definitely a key thing in any conversation you have with your friends you can say something that's slightly like you know you know like yo can of play with your ball you know talking about a basketball but someone could be like whoa he said something kind of gay. You have to say, oh, no homo pause. You have to, like, what do you search your masculinity right away? It's kind of messed up. You have to do that. Hip hop is very much built on this super macho imagery of what it means to be black or Latino or from the hood or urban. Like, I would really discriminate. Like, I use the word fag, 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 fag. Like, always condescending uh, towards gays and, and, look, and look down upon gays. Everybody in hip hop discriminates against gay people. Kanye's certitude and conviction were both impressive and surprising to many. But just how significant are these remarks? Do they signal a turning point? This is a, a subject that hip-hop prefers not to talk about. So someone like Kanye putting it out into the public space is valuable in that it fosters a little bit of dialogue. But after a week or so, people are much more comfortable talking about other things. Kanye himself understands this. If you bring up homophobia, he says, people think you must be gay. And when pressed on the subject, I mean, I, I ain't gay. Some artists were predictably defensive. I don't feel like I should have to bite my tongue for anybody. I, I don't really even pay attention to stuff like that. I don't know nothing about that. I mean, man, I think hip-hop is full of individuals, you know what I'm saying? Each individual has his own opinion. Kanye has his, just as everybody else with a microphone has theirs. The fact that artists themselves are talking about this at all, regardless of motivation, does represent progress. I think the hip-hop community and young people in general are much more tolerant than their previous generation. I'm not saying that the young people are not homophobic and so forth. I'm saying they're less homophobic. To keep moving forward, though, it will likely take continued effort and considerable time, namely from those within the hip-hop community itself. Just because Kanye West and Sean Paul speak out today doesn't mean that things will change five years from now either. It's going to take a concerted effort. But most importantly, it's going to take the involvement of people who are consumers creating and generating hip-hop and hip-hop culture and hip-hop music to make that change happen. like a, a thin line between hurting people's feelings and also expressing yourself. Artwork in general reflects where it comes from. So when you when you paint a picture of Jamaican music, you're bound to get idiosyncrasies of our people. You're bound to get a part of the culture that comes out. I'm not gonna say that nobody should ever say it. Cause just like with any other word, you really gotta judge on a case by case basis. But as a general rule, if you're not sure whether you should use it, you probably shouldn't. Plus it's like five years old and it's kind of played out. So if you never heard of No Homo before you saw this video, just forget I brought it up. Forget that it came out of my mouth. I'm not gonna say it.